I once had a love affair that occurred only in my mind. It was when I voted four years ago. I had great hope for a better future for me in this country. Since then, I graduated from a college with a bachelor's degree in psychology and a lot of debt. Unfortunately, under your term as the current president, I've been spending all of my time applying for jobs, food stamps, and unemployment. To keep my love towards you, you promised me I will have free health care and free contraceptives. But I'm here to tell all the other ladies that this current election is not about women's bodies or birth control like your girl Lena Dunham implies. But it's more about whether or not we will ever become something exceptional in America or live our lives with our parents on welfare and food stamps. That man in my dreams, my unrealistic love affair, Barack Obama, he now has 47 million Americans on food stamps with no hope of a job or a future. Now is that the kind of love Lena Dunham wants? Do we really want to end up like one of Obama's food stamp children? Mr. President, America is supposed to be the land of opportunity, but you gave all of our money away to the Wall Street bankers and sent the rest overseas. Think of all the jobs that you could have created with this money. Over a trillion dollars? Really? Instead, maybe you could have had Americans build new power plants in the deserts or along the Mississippi to generate energy from our own natural resources, so that way we could have been energy independent by now. I mean, if we could fight and win World War II in just four years, freed Europe, and build thousands of planes and ships in that time, with more advanced technologies today, just think of what we could have been doing all of this time. I'm sorry, but you have abandoned me in this great country, and now I must side with a new man, Clint Eastwood, who had it right all along when he said that Obama was, has robbed us of a future in America, and we have to let him go. As a president, Obama tried real hard and did a great job on the golf course, but regrettably, we are no better off than we were four years ago. So unfortunately, our love affair is over, and it is now time to take a bow and say goodbye. As for Lena, well, I guess she's all yours now. I'll sure be hoping for a better four years ahead, and we will all be hoping for change on November 6th.